being dubbed the Sober Curious Movement. A growing number of people are reducing how much booze they drink, or they're cutting it out altogether. Sober curious and sober serious individuals are fueling a new economy for alcohol-free products, social spaces, and activities. And with major brands like Budweiser and Heineken tapping into new non-alcoholic offerings, the winds of change are blowing. Seedlip is uh, the world's first distilled non-alcoholic spirit. When Seedlip was founded in the UK four years ago, we were the first of our kind, and there are now more than 30 competitor products in the market in Europe. For us, it's a really good sign. It means that the category is not just like a flash in the pan trend, that it's something that really fills a need in people's lives. And this shift is fueling a whole new economy of sober social experiences. In 2018, uh, I came up with the idea of opening a non-alcohol bar. And the main reasons for looking at opening a non-alcohol bar were, I thought that people's attitude to alcohol was changing. Uh, there's a bit of a cultural shift in people looking at alcohol-free as an option. We at the Virgin Mary don't think it's that different to other bars that you might go to because, you know, what defines a good night out? You go with your friends, you go to an environment that you enjoy socializing in, the conversation's the same, the music that you're listening to is pretty similar. The only thing that we've done is to change one of the components, i.e. we've taken the alcohol out of the drinks. We love Lucid and Sober Vacations International are cashing in on consumers' desire for booze-free dating and travel. While sober influencers post under the hashtag Sober is Sexy, uniting the growing community. There are even alcohol light products like ice cream and gummies for those who want a bit of the alcohol taste without overindulging and getting drunk. We're really at the very vanguard of what is happening with this cultural shift away from alcohol. And I think that it's up to venues to start looking at this category more and to start bringing in products that, you know, offer variety. As it becomes less stigma to choose not to drink alcohol for whatever reason, we will see sort of more alcohol-free socializing. As late night boozing loses its cultural cool, we see slow drinking becoming the popular choice. It's about really savoring booze. Think alchemy, mixology, and our favorite European style aperitifs. To survive the sober shift, alcohol-rooted brands will need to expand their offering, create new experiences, or maybe even stand for something beyond booze entirely. Anyone with a closed mind about this being a you know a trend or um, sort of a not a thing, I think uh, is missing out on you know what is going to be a very very cool movement.